Hello and welcome back to another Django tutorial. So in this tutorial, I've created a simple application and now I'm ready to migrate from the default SQLite database to a Postgres database. So I'm going to take you through the process of making a backup of the existing SQLite database. Then we're going to install the Postgres database onto our machine. Once we've done that, we're going to install PG admin, which is a simple graphical user interface to allow us to administrate our Postgres databases. And then finally, we're going to take that backup we made originally of our existing database and put it into a new Postgres database. So once we finish doing all that, we'll then reconnect our Django application to the new Postgres database and test to see if it's working. So our first task then is to create a backup of the existing database. And we can do that by typing in Python manage.py and then the dump data, uh, the right chevron and then data dump.json. So here we're going to make a backup of a database. We're going to call it data dump.json. And that's then going to appear inside of our actual application folder. So at this point, you're going to need a Django application and head over to the virtual environment if you're using the virtual environment and then just run the command. So if I run the command, uh, you'll now find a new file called datadump.json inside of your project folder. So here's all our data from the database, which we can then import into the new Postgres database. So the next step, we need to now install Postgres database. So heading over to Google, I just type in Postgres downloads and that takes me then to the postgres.org slash download site. And then from here, you just need to download the version that you need. So I'm using Windows here and I'm going to be utilizing the download the installer and I'm going to select the latest version for my operating system. So I'm going to go for the 64 bit and then download. So the setup of Postgres is fairly straightforward. It's a little bit long winded. Um, so let's just head into this installation. I double click and start the installation. So I press yes and wait. Okay, so now we'll press next and select the installation. Uh, so from here, um, what we're gonna do is install our own PG admin. So we can deselect that and the stack builder, we'll get rid of that. Uh, so all we're gonna install is the Postgres SQL server and the command line tools. So I press next and then next again. And then I create a nice little password for my admin. So the super user name is gonna be called Postgres. And then my password is going to be whatever I typed in my password here. So that's important when we start to connect to the database. So the default user, the default super user for Postgres database is called Postgres, unlike, for example, MySQL, which is normally root. So I press next and then I select my port number. So I'm going to keep it 5432. And then use the default there and press next and then next again. Okay, so now that's installed, we're now gonna go over to Google again and type in PG admin. I'm gonna download the PG admin tools. So from here, I'm looking for the download option and then Windows again, and this is gonna be version four. And I'm gonna go for the EXE. So obviously we could have just selected this option on the installation of the Postgres server, but I'd just like to do this individually just to make sure we've got the latest version. Okay, so now that's downloaded, let's um, start that installation. Okay, so I press next, uh, accept and press next and press next and then next again and then press install. Okay, so once it's finished, uh, we'll launch it, 
press finish and it should launch the PG admin tool. So this is a graphical user interface and management tool that allows us to interface with the Postgres server. So from here we can access all of our databases, all of our tables and run queries and so forth. It just provides a, the, anyone new to databases, it provides a little bit more of a friendly view to the database rather than using the command line. So I'm just going to type in a password for that and press OK. So in a couple of seconds, uh, type in your admin password that you used earlier. There we go. So now I'm inside of the server. You should have one instance here, and that's the Postgres SQL 12. And you can see here, this is all the databases and there's a database here by default. We can just leave that. So obviously what we want to do now is we want to build a new database for our Django app. And we want to then connect our Django app to the new database. So let's head back into the Django application. So this is in the, uh, the main application in its settings. So this is the settings file. And you can see that the default option here, which I was using for this app, was using the SQL Lite database. So what we can do now is remove the old database because we're going to now connect to the Postgres database. So this is the new setting configuration. So we're going to need to install the adapter to allow us to actually connect to the Postgres database and to provide all the functionality so that we can communicate with the database effectively. So let's just install that first. So head over to your command prompt and you need to install the PSY COP G2. So have that installed. Okay, so now that's installed, we can now head over to the name. So this is the name of your database. In this case, I'll call it test. So let's go over to the uh, PG admin again. What we're gonna do is just select the uh, databases here, right click and create, and then select database. And here I'm gonna make a new database called test. Obviously you can rename this however you like. The owner at this stage is just gonna be called Postgres. You might wanna take this further and add some new users, etc. but we're just gonna use the default options for now. So go ahead and save that. And you can now see we have a new test database. So we're gonna utilize this database to connect to this database and then set up our Django database inside of that so that we can then utilize this database for our Django project. So um, that's the name of the database. So the default user is called Postgres. The password in my case was called admin. So that's the, user, that's the password that you set originally when you install Postgres for the Postgres user. And then the host is gonna be localhost. So this is just referring to the fact that the installation of Postgres is actually installed on this computer. So the local host. And then if you remember, the port that we're using is 5432. So these are all the settings that you're gonna to need to connect to your new database. Okay, so next up, what we need to do is sync our model to the database. So we can do that by running python manage.py migrate and then the run sync database command. So I utilize that in the command prompt here and you can see here that it says creating tables, running deferred SQL and so on. Now once we've done that, we can now migrate our data back into the database. So assuming you stored the data dump in the project directory, now we're just gonna run the load data, datadump.json. So in my terminal, I type that in and run that. And there we go, installed 41 objects from one fixture. Okay, so now everything is set, head back into PG admin. You might need to refresh the page, uh, but inside of the test database, there is a schema. And inside of that, there's some tables. And notice now we have 11 tables, if you can see that on your screen. And one of them is called core core. So that's the name of my database. If I go into my model, 
my app's called Core and my model is called Core. You can see that I've got title and so on. So if I go back here, I can see all those tables inside of Core. And what I can do now is just run a query. So if I right click on Core and select Query Tool, what I can do now is select all the data. So by running select all from, and then the name of my table, core, core, you can see that it returns everything that's inside of my database. So let's just check to see if this works now. So I'm going to run my server. And then this is a simple application, which you can have a look at my other videos and see how to build this. But this is a simple management content management system. So I'm going to add a new item to the database, press edit, <laughs> should be saved. Uh, so I've got a new entry here, so that works okay. If I refresh this now, I rerun this query. You can see now that my data is indeed inside of the database. Okay, so that was the overview of how to migrate from SQL Lite to a Postgres database with Django. So as you've seen, we've create a backup of all the data in a database. That's a fairly useful function in general. Um, we've installed the Postgres uh, SQL database and then also the PG admin to allow us to interface with the database. So I've gone through a basic setup, showing you how to access the database, how to migrate and connect your Django app to the Postgres database. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hopefully you've got this far, if you have, Thank you very much and please check out my other tutorials and support the channel. Thank you very much.